Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a bit BTN dynamically or otherwise known as a bit button. So when you create a component dynamically, basically you have to create it via code. You have to set all you have to set all the properties and the events with code as well. So here we have, so here we, so here we have a button and a scroll box. We're going to be creating the bit buttons inside of the scroll box via this button. So let's start. Let's create a variable called then bit btn of type t bit btn. Then we say then bit btn. Let me just copy this. Colon equals t bit button dot create. The create constructor needs an owner in the brackets. The, own, the owner is basically responsible for destroying the form. So we want the form, ach, not destroying the form, for destroying the component. So we want the form to be responsible for destroying the bit button. Oops. So then we want to set a parent for it. The parent will be the scroll box. Because we want the bit button to appear on the scroll box, and thus the scroll box needs to be the parent. And you can read this um, paper on the differences between an owner and a parent. You can pause the video and read this. Okay, so now, so now let's continue. Let's start by then dot align. I want to check something. Yes, you can actually choose, actually choose different alignments here for it. Um, going to be aligning to top. Remember, you, you can um, you, you, you don't have to um, include this T align dot L top um, because L top is part of the T align thing. This is why you can select it from there. Okay. Then we set the height. Let's make the height uh, 100. Let's set a font size um, of 20 and then dot kind. So bit buttons have different kinds. It's a part of the T bit BTN kind dot there's different kinds for instance if you select um, BK close and let's compile. So this type of a bit button actually closes the application when you click on it. You don't, you don't need to um, have any events like as you can see it closes the thing. But others such as for instance yes will need some code. Because it does nothing on its own. Okay. So let's see what we can use. Okay, let, let's actually use a custom one. Okay. And you can even set, set a layout for it, such as um, T layout. Oops, that's no, T button layout. This will um, give us at which um, side the image is, for instance, at the top. You can make it display, display at the top. Let's choose close again. Close. And the image is at the, is at the top. As you can see, okay, let's actually make this 120. Okay, and let's make this custom, and let's leave this to left, which is which is which is actually the default as well. And let's give it our own image. So cliff. Okay, so let's just oh come on, go to the folder here. Um, wait, let's files dot load from file and now it wants an image. So let's go to the files, show an explorer. Here it is. Yes, I have created a let's copy it to the same folder as the exe. Yes, the exe. Yes, the, so I've created a simple little image here as you can see. 
And now let's load that into the button. Start.bmp. Just want to see if that's correct. Oh, it's this one. Yes. Okay. So now if you compile, we'll have a tippet button with our own little image here. Now we just have to give it a caption. Then put it in. Oops. Caption color equals bit btn is add account is add a counter to just count how many bit buttons we have created. Our default let's make it zero when the form is created. And then increase it every time we click on the button. And then just display it into a string okay let's see this as you can see that works let's just make this appear from 1 to 5 not 5 to 1 to do that we can just say the top property it must display somewhere far down okay and now that that works there's a scroll bar you can scroll um, through the different bit buttons as you can see 26 okay now, okay now let's give the bit button an event let's give it an on click event okay so hmm just think about that's fine okay now let's go. I actually want to do something interesting. Let's give it a random. No, okay. Let's create an a public declarations a procedure for the on click event of the thing. Procedure. Then btn click. That's just a name. You can give it anything you want. Sender t. Oh. Object in in the implementation we now write it there procedure tfrm home dot and then click so we want just a basic procedure procedure that will display us the caption and the caption will also okay, let, let's just let's just display the caption and we can display the image um path. Let's create a variable. It's caption and it is cliff. I think that's how it's called cliff. Yes, okay. Of type string. If caption is easy, it's just um, sender as t bit bit btn is cliff is ah no this should be sorry dot caption is cliff is colon equals to the cliff dot um let me just search for it now I'm not sure what it is doesn't it Get name. Ach, scheiße. Def dot. Get name path. That should be it. Not really sure. Let's test it. Let's test it out. Just say is caption plus is def. Okay, now let's connect this um, procedure to the dynamic bit button. Then btn dot on click event is equals to this one. Okay, let's compile and see if this works. Click on this one. Okay, now it just gives us the t bit button. 
Uh, well, there should be a way. I'm just not sure how to do it at this moment. But yes, that's basically just how to create a. If I, if I figure out how to do this sometime later, I'll maybe make a video about it. I have a, I have an upcoming video about bit buttons specifically that I'll explain like a lot of stuff about it. But for now, just just this just a tutorial on how to make a bit button dynamically. If this video helped in any way, then please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. So bye.